Good morning, everybody. Paul Heidema here. Talk about leadership in the context of a family. And I specifically just want to share my own experiences of what it's been like to be a husband and father and son and how I've been practicing leadership and how it means something to me and how, you know, I'm hoping I'm doing a good job. So essentially, when we think of leadership, we often think of leadership meaning to lead, to go first. And there is truth to that for sure. In that if we say something, we have to actually do that same thing that we're saying. So if I express to my son that I need to be patient and forgiving and compassionate, and then I'm not compassionate and forgiving with my son, then how does that demonstrate leadership? It doesn't. So I practice those things, or I, or I try to, right? You know, sometimes as a father, and I'm sure all your fathers and mothers, you all have the same kind of experience, is we try to show up the best we possibly can. You know, we have this plan in our, in our minds. In the morning, maybe we'll say, hey, you know, I'm up before my kids. I'm looking forward to really showing them the best I can and really being there for them and listening and learning from them, you know, and being a good guide and a good example. And then partway through the day, something happens and it irks you. It's like, oh, I don't like this. And, you know, all your plans go out the window. You know, I'm short, I'm, I'm unkind, I don't respond well. You know, I don't demonstrate patience or compassion or kindness or not as well as I could. And then I got to reset. You know, Wait a minute, this is not what I want. I apologize and I try to address it again. Other times, I show up well. You know, my son has been, has been demonstrating all these amazing things where he, he goes out into the world and is helping people. You know, he's not quite 16 yet, and he's really supporting their development. And it's fascinating to kind of hear and see what this is. Morning. And it's fascinating to see how he demonstrates that with others. And I was over at a family's place, and he was helping them and has been helping them for months. And they said to him, you know, thank you, Tyler, for being you. Thank you for being just you. And that really, you know, made me think about what it means to be a leader and how you show up. You know, my wife is incredible, Layla. She does all these amazing things and she's absolutely my best friend. I know a lot of husbands and men say that about their wives. She is. You know, she's the person I want to spend most of my time with. You know, when I'm asked to go out and do something and go with friends, I like doing that. But often I just want to hang out with my wife because she's the one that I'm most excited to be around. She's the one that brings out the best in me. She's the one that I want to bring out the best in. And so I think that, you know, as, as, as individuals, we have the ability to be great leaders in our workspace. But if you don't demonstrate that in our family life, with our spouses, with our kids, with our parents, then it doesn't have the same kind of impact. So how do you show up as a leader? How do you demonstrate leadership in your family? You know, what do you hear from your spouse? What do they say about you or what do you say about them? I hope you continue down this path of leadership and continue this path of being the best version of yourself. Have a wonderful day.